patrolling or fighting in urban environments is fraught with danger. Besides the obvious, like snipers and terrorist forces, there are booby traps, mines and all manner of improvised devices inside buildings. Obviously this is just a demonstration, but it made the point that there is already a very real need for technology to help minimise the risks to life when working in operational built-up areas. I very much see the Grand Challenge as a win-win situation. You get to demonstrate your talent and perhaps win a contract, and we get the benefit of your innovations and your ideas with new technology which we hope is going to be relevant for the soldiers of the 21st century. Six teams have been chosen and over the next year they'll investigate a whole range of technologies to help troops clear compounds in Afghanistan or patrol the streets of southern Iraq. On show here at Copil Down training area, existing technology like this mini aircraft or UAV called Buster. It can be fitted with a range of cameras which can transmit back live TV pictures. Yeah. Ideas already being discussed by the six teams include robot vehicles, mini indoor helicopters and even technology to allow soldiers to look through walls. The type of, uh, of uh, demonstrator you have just uh, touched on may well emerge and it could be any or all of those things. The teams chosen to take part in this challenge include individuals from business and industry but also from schools and universities. This is all about new ideas and developing new technology to meet the challenges of urban warfare in the 21st century. Dave Harper, Army News Online, Salisbury Plain.